Mm-hmm. And that's supposed to tell you something? This crystal represents courage. This represents beauty. Sister Flame, I can smell your moon cycle. What? What are you saying? What are they? And put on some deodorant. Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and Shakira as well, and today we're going to be talking about a new update coming to Apex Legends, and it's going to be in the form of a new shop rotation, a new Halloween event shop rotation, and an update to actually fix some stuff in the game. We're also going to give out 45 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill. Without further ado, let's talk about what's coming to the game. Store rotation, which will feature skins from the first two Halloween events. Prices are listed in this image right here, and they all will come bundled with different weaponry as well, hence why it's so expensive. If you're still hoping to get the skins from the beginning of this event, don't don't worry, they are staying around until the end of October. This is just another rotation that's being added in with them. Along with that though, today will be the last day that we have the Gun Run LTM, and we will be getting the Control Mode for one week before we go back to Shadow Royale. The Control Mode is going to play a little bit differently than we have seen in the past. The first big note is that it will be played on Olympus After Dark at the Hammond Labs location, according to what Hypermiss showed us from his images, but there will still be the Lava Siphon on World's Edge and Barometer on Storm Point that will rotate with it. There's also a new function with it according to Oz who let us know that during a care package event a mobile respawn beacon may be found in the care package which functions as a respawn point for two minutes when manually placed which if you're holding B could be an absolute lifesaver and have your entire team spawn there very quickly. Now Senos also let us know that we are getting an actual update today to fix some bugs and issues with the games. Now unfortunately the Trello board doesn't have anything that's greenlit other than the stuff that we've seen forever so unfortunately respawn hasn't made any official announcement about what it will be but there's a couple of things that do need to be fixed. First one that is most likely is that all the healing sounds were amplified after the last update. This is with the new healing animations and Respawn is probably going to adjust it back to a normal level so players will stop complaining about it. There's also a pretty horrible bug right now where randomly players and legends will just float in the air being a free easy shot for people. No idea what causes it but I assume that Respawn is aware and getting to work on it. There's also a gun run bug which is actually from when it originally came out and it's with the throwing knife. Even if you hit 25 kills and kill someone with it, it still won't let you win the game. Fortunately, even if they fix this, like I said, they are bringing control mode and gun run is leaving. So this doesn't have that much of an impact, but for future events where it comes back, they'll probably have this fixed. So it is no longer an issue, but that's going to be the massive update, but they may also add some things in the file, such as the fact that tomorrow we are able to use the golden ticket to go to the new map. So do be aware of that. That should go live at around 10 AM Pacific standard time, but we will finally be able to get our first look at the new map and some of the lore surrounding the new legend catalyst and her abilities. Let me know down below. Are you excited for the update today? Are you happy about the Halloween and event skins? And how do you feel about the normal shop rotation? And are you excited for season 15? And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and we'll see you out there.